Our topic is notebook computers, and we have with us Antonio Leone, who is the portable computer product specialist with AC Computer. Welcome, Antonio. Hi, Phil. Thanks. Uh, a lot of schools, many teachers, and a lot of schools are looking at notebook computers, and in fact, Australia leads the way with notebook computer use in schools. Um, and I'm sure they have a lot of questions, you know, that arise when they're looking at the various models that are available. Mm -hmm. So you're going to shed some light on um, on notebook technology and some of the things that teachers should look for when they're, when they're buying portable computers? Yes, that's right. Sir. Okay, so what would be, the, you know, one of the first things that um, teachers should consider? Okay, well I guess the most important thing um, to consider when you're purchasing a notebook is how much freedom and flexibility you're going to have with the unit. Um, you know, working away from a desk, away from an office, um, outside a computer lab. Uh, now that all comes down to um, efficient power management. Mm -hmm. With the Extender 700 series, and in fact in the entire Acer notebook range, um, those notebooks employ what we call heuristic power management. It's a power management technique that was actually pioneered and developed by Acer, so it's unique to us. No other notebook vendor uh, is able to offer that solution. Uh, the basic concept behind heuristic power management is that it learns the work patterns of the user. Mm -hmm. So for example, if a, a user has a particular work pattern where they work for half an hour, go away for five minutes, come back for another half hour, take another five minute break, the notebook will be, uh, learn that user's work patterns and automatically adjust all the components so that they power down mm -hmm. when the user is away for their five minutes. And that, of course, it contributes to uh, more effective power management. Mm. Must be a good system because in our future segment, we actually have a segment from a school that is using radio networks, and uh, and they're getting a whole day in school from one charge of the battery. So they're they're managing to get through five or six um, periods in a day. So that's right. That's important, and obviously it's important because there's no need for power uh, points and things like that in the school if they're recharged and get through a day. Um, no need for cables and things like that? Well, that's right, Phil. Um, and it's not just the heuristic power management system. Mm -hmm. uh, combined with a lithium-ion battery, which is standard on all models, uh, people are getting the, the maximum amount of productivity. Okay, so lithium-ion. Tell us about the lithium-ion battery. Well, basically, it's the, um, the most advanced technology currently available mm -hmm. uh, in batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, lithium-ion doesn't suffer from the same memory effect of uh, nickel metal hydride, so you're able to get um, uh, more charges Mm -hmm. and consequently longer battery okay. life. So moving on, what other features should teachers look at when you know buying a notebook computer? All right, well the quality of the display is obviously important. Um, with the 700 series that we offer to education, uh, the LCD technology we employ is Super Clear Color. Mm -hmm. uh, Super Clear Color is an advancement on traditional DSTN technology. Mm -hmm. um, the advantages of it are that it has a higher um, contrast ratio mm -hmm. and a faster screen refresh time. Mm -hmm. And the panels used to manufacture Super Clear Color panels are actually thinner and lighter than those used with uh, conventional DSTN. So Super Clear Color technology contributes to a more lightweight notebook, mm -hmm. as well as more efficient power management because the battery is using less energy to mm -hmm. transmit the colors that form the viewable images on the LCD. Okay, and the super clear color image is quite um, brilliant on the, on the screen. It's quite, uh, it's got good contrast. Sure. Yeah. Uh, of course, um, there's always going to be a difference between your, your passive and active technologies. Mm -hmm. um, so if money is no object and we wanted you know, the best screen available, what would be the best screen? Well, then you have the choice of going with uh, TFT, mm -hmm. uh, which stands for Thin Film Transistor. Uh, and there is a model in uh, the range which comes with a TFT LCD. Mm -hmm. uh, the advantages of TFT are a higher contrast ratio, mm -hmm. as well as a faster screen refresh rate. Mm -hmm. And also with TFT, um, you have the, uh, the option of allowing more than one person um, to work around the notebook and enjoy a good uh, viewing quality. Mm -hmm. um, so you might have a group of students um, sitting around the notebook. Um, each of them so are able three to students and they can see from side on and it's quite clear. That's right. Or a super clear colour, it's really as you move around from the side, the periphery is harder to see. That's right, yeah. because uh, the viewing angle isn't mm -hmm. as wide with mm -hmm. super clear colour. Mm -hmm. So once you start to move off centre, mm -hmm. the image starts to blur somewhat. This is a really compact unit, and I can see that there's a lot of, you know, we've got the CD and the floppy all built in, which is nice. 
you know, what should uh, teachers consider in terms of the features, you know, in the package? Well, you've already mentioned the um, internal floppy drive. Mm -hmm. uh, convenience. Mm -hmm. um, no longer do uh, teachers or students have to worry about carrying an additional uh, storage device module because mm -hmm. it's all integrated. Uh, the CD-ROM itself is modular, so it can be interchanged with an LS120 drive or a DVD module. And you also have a removable hard disk drive at the rear of the unit, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, provides additional security. Mm -hmm. um, and you can have a, uh, multiple users, like each with their own hard drive, so a school that has a notebook that is shared amongst many teachers, mm -hmm. they can buy additional hard drives and the teacher holds onto the hard drive, plugs it in and it's their machine. That's right, and yeah. the effect is you've got reduced total cost of ownership. Great. Okay, um, connectivity. A lot of schools look at connecting um, notebooks and computers up to you know, projectors and things. I understand this one has a particular feature that should be mentioned for school. That's right, Phil. It comes with an S-video port mm -hmm. which allows you to connect the unit to a TV set. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so a large screen TV. Right, mm. and I guess the advantage of that is that a lot of um, schools or educational institutions would already have a TV yeah. set, so there's no need to um, spend a lot of money on buying, you know, special output devices. Right. What about teachers working away from home? Yeah, all, all the units uh, come with an internal 56K modem, mm -hmm. okay, which is also uh, V90 upgradable, mm -hmm. and the advantage, of course, of having an internal modem is that it doesn't take up uh, space on your uh, PC card slots. Okay, and you buy the unit and it's all there ready to go. That's right, ready mm -hmm. to go. No need to worry about um, purchasing additional PC cards. Okay, I understand Acer has a won a number of awards recently for, for the notebook computers. That's right, we've actually been quite um, fortunate in that regard this year. A lot of our um, notebooks have been recipients of awards and critical acclaim. Mm -hmm. um, the most recent was for our 710 series mm -hmm. um, in Australian PC world. It was actually ranked number one in the monthly top ten. Right. That and would have made you pleased. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they take performance and value into consideration mm -hmm. and you know, these days people are, are after, you know, getting the best value they can and, and performance everyone wants performance. And I guess to put things in perspective, Acer Computer are one of the, large, the world's largest manufacturers of notebook computers, I understand. That's right. We're currently mm -hmm. one of the top five suppliers of notebook PCs, and as part of our ongoing commitment to constantly improve our products, we've definitely got our eyes on the number one position. Mm, great. I'm sure this has, has been an invaluable resource for teachers looking uh, at all the features of notebook computers. Thank you, Antonio. Our time is up, and thank you for your time. You're welcome. Once again, we have with us Anne Glover. Welcome, Anne. Hello, Phil. And you're going to show us some of the, uh, the some of the latest uh, data flow software. And in fact, this is um, probably one of the traditional titles uh, for education software in the Blaster series. Yes, Math Blaster. It's been around for a while, but this is a new version. It's mm -hmm. called Math Blaster Six to Nine. It's very similar to Mega Math Blaster, but it is the new version. And although it says six to nine, it's a type of program that children up to 12 or even 14 could be using if they need to have a workout on their times tables, right. you know, arithmetic. So they can go over all of those skills and reinforce the skills that they already Certainly. have and probably have fun at the same time. That's right, a lot of mm. fun. They can work at different levels. So you may find a 10-year-old who is, isn't quite so good at their times tables as perhaps an 8-year-old. So it really depends on what level they're at. It's a thorough workout on their addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And mm -hmm. for that reason, it's my favourite maths program for working on those operations. A thorough workout plus games to play, blasting mm -hmm. numbers, right. typing in numbers. Right. You know, some action, mm -hmm. please. <laughs> And so what, can, what, would, uh, what will teachers see in Math Blaster that they didn't see in the previous version? Not a great deal of difference to Mega Math Blaster. Mm -hmm. What they've done is introduced a few new Blaster programs to fit across a wide range. Mm -hmm. What they will see is children squealing while they're doing their math. Mm -hmm. That will be what will be happening when they're using their Math Blaster. Better okay. graphics, a bit more action, mm -hmm. but very similar to Mega Math Blaster. Mm -hmm. So can we have a quick look at um, an activity? Certainly. Mm -hmm. Here we have one of the activities with Math Blaster, mm -hmm. we're actually blasting the numbers. Mm -hmm. So we need to target the right number, wow. and also we can blast some of these rocks and asteroids away as we go. Mm -hmm. The Looks kids like love fun. it. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And they can work on different activities as they go. They don't need to concentrate on just one thing. Mm. Sometimes the girls prefer one activity to the boys, and some children who don't have such great motor skills may prefer not to use the mouse and be blasting, but to wait mm. for a stationary object where they can type the numbers in. 
So the activity you select depends on the child's skills and interests as well. I've had teachers say to me, look, this is playing, this isn't learning. What would you say? You know, like, I, I think sometimes their expectation is they want children to key in the answer. What would you say to teachers? Oh. Well, so children aren't allowed to squeal and, and, <laughs> and scream while they're learning. They're just getting through so much math. They're just getting... In the old days, we used to have to learn our times tables by oh. rote. They tend not to do that these days. Right. And this is how they're getting that saturation level of their times tables, that they will know them intuitively later. So the latest Math Plus, ages 6 to 9. A wonderful program. Mm. So Anne, moving from Math Blaster, there's also a Reading Blaster product out. Yes, Reading Blaster 6 to 9 we're looking okay. at today. Mm -hmm. Quite a nice program to introduce children to working with words, a bit of spelling, a bit of reading in context and rhyming words. It's great because it's quite good fun. Children are blasting words and letters, not just reading boring text. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, can we have a quick look at a few Certainly. activities? Yeah. This is one the children like. They need to collect the right letters. They've got a clue at the top that says, let's mm, up and down. Okay, and we've got a U and a P there. That's right. So we need to blast the letters as they... We need to blast, we need to actually let the right letters go into the scoop, mm -hmm. blast the bad letters, right. and hope that they don't destroy our fleet, there. fleet over here mm -hmm. that's got some protection. We also don't want, there's a J, we might keep that one. Mm -hmm. But some of these rocks we might get out of the way. And there's an M. Looks like that's just about headed for the right place too. Mm -hmm. We started on E so still. Done, yeah. We have the right word. How far can you the kick? Okay. Oh, okay, we're looking for kick. Yeah. Sometimes the rocks get in the way as well. So we need to blast the wrong letters out of the way. So it's very reminiscent of uh, Space Invaders or something, yes, isn't it? That's right. Mm. Quite like Math Blaster too, if children are into that one. Mm -hmm. Here's an I, we might keep that I, let that fall into the scoop. But not the G. Not the G. Now this isn't the only activity in the software, is it? There's, um, no. I think, four activities? Four activities. Yeah. A range of levels. Mm -hmm. Something to keep the children occupied and having different types of activities so that they're using different skills. Mm -hmm. And also to suit different children's interests as well. It seems to me that uh, it doesn't even matter if the children encounter these words time and time again. The thing is still fun. That's right. Yeah. And they're reading in context. They're trying to put the word into the sentence, so they're not mm -hmm. words in isolation. So it's quite a good program. Great. Thanks, eh?